Hi, boys and girls. Well, I hope you're having a fun Friday. Today's story or book is called Light. Light, light, shadows, mirrors, and rainbows. Light, shadow, mirrors, and rainbows. Hmm. I wonder what those three things have to do with light. You're going to find out. It's written by Natalie M. Rosinski, and it's illustrated by Cherie Boyd. I can see this person is making a shadow rabbit. That was pretty fun when you get to shine your light on your hand and make crazy animals on the wall. Light, shadows, mirrors, and rainbows. <gasps> Table of contents. Yay, I'm going to get some information and a new wrinkle. Now I'll find out what those three things have to do with light. The content area is right here. And the page where I will find the content is right over here. Delightful light. Shadows play on a sunny day. Water glints and gleams. At a storm's end, a rainbow bends. Wherever you look, light dazzles and dances. It makes wonderful shapes and colors. Light is what lets you see things. Fun fact, light comes from the sun. Other natural light is made by lightning, fireflies, and the northern lights that shine in the Arctic. Oh, so there's natural light and then there's artificial light, which is light we create, like maybe a flashlight or a lamp. Those are artificial means of light. Light comes from light bulbs of all shapes, colors, and sizes. Light streams out in rays. See the rays of light that stream from a movie projector in a dark movie theater. See the beam of light that travels from a flashlight. Fun fact, even when a room is dark, you can still see shapes and shadows. That means there must be a teeny tiny bit of light from somewhere. What makes shadows? Well, you guys should know that by now. When light rays are blocked, there are spots of darkness. The sun shines on you, but it can't shine through you. Your body blocks the sunlight's path and makes a shadow that follows you wherever you go. Sometimes your shadow is in front of you. Sometimes it is behind you. Can you guess why? Oh, you scientists better know that by now. Yes, you're right. It depends where the light is coming from. Good job, scientists. Even indoors, shadows jump across the walls and the floor. Shine a flashlight at the wall. Then wiggle your fingers for some fun. Make shadow creatures that joke and jabber. Inch your hand closer and closer to the flashlight and your shadow gets bigger and bigger. What happens when you move your hand further away from the light? You're right, your shadow gets smaller and smaller because it blocks less light. Good job, scientists. How do mirrors work? When light hits something smooth and shiny, Almost all of the light rays bounce back or reflect off it. When you see yourself in a mirror, light rays are bouncing from you to the mirror and back again. Your image is a reflection. All around your house, reflections stare back at you. Look at your face in a silver toaster or a shiny spoon. These reflections look different from the one that is in your mirror. 
The moon has no light of its own. Mm -mm, no light. Moonlight is really sunlight that is reflected off the moon. At night, this reflection lights your path and paints the trees silver. Fun fact, not everything makes a shadow or a reflection. Light can go right through some objects that are clear. Moonlight can stream through a window, making a bright spot on the floor. And what do we call that? Good memory. This window is transparent. When something lets all of the light through, it is transparent. What makes a rainbow? A ray of sunlight is like a rope that's made of many strands. Each strand has its own color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. After a storm, the air is often filled with water droplets. When rays of sunlight shine through the droplets, the rays fray open like a rope. All the colors in the rays separate and bend in slightly different directions. Fun fact, on a sunny day, you might see a rainbow in a spray of a garden hose. You can see rainbow colors in a diamond sparkle or even on a soap bubble. A rainbow arches across the sky. Look up and see a parade of colors that are wrapped inside every single ray of sunlight. You can't see all of the colors that are in a rainbow. The colors of light at the far ends of the rainbow are invisible to people. These colors are infrared light and ultraviolet light. Not so fun fact. Ultraviolet light from the sun, ouch, can burn your skin. All around, light is sparkling, swirling, blinking, bending, and bouncing. Watch, wonder, investigate. Our world is shining with colorful new things to explore. Hmm. So now we know. Light has to do with shadows, which is when the light is blocked, mirrors, which is when the light is reflected, and rainbows, which is when the light is separated. So now we know shadows, blocked light, mirrors, reflected light, rainbows, separated light. Hmm. In the book, it mentioned about looking at objects that I have reflective surfaces on this page. And they said one of the things that you could look at for your reflection was a shiny object. Well, a spoon is a wonderful shiny object. Take a look at your reflection with the light reflecting back at you so you can see yourself. Wow, my reflection on the curved inside part the concave part. Well, that reflection is very interesting. And then when I look at the rounded part, the concurve, my reflection looks different again. So get a spoon and see what your reflection looks like and think about the light that is bouncing back to you. Oh, well, I'm looking pretty good today, people. If you have a flashlight, you can have a look and see what happens when you shine on the spoon and see if the light bounces back on you. Oh, well, yes, it did on me on this side. But what happens if I do it here? Hmm. Go ahead, scientists. Take an exploration with light. Just remember, be careful of your eyes. Have fun, scientists.